In the example that I just showed, I was using a function that I created myself. But most of the time, or many times, we will be using functions that other people have written. And so those functions are made available to us in libraries. But as I said earlier, we can't automatically be able to use those functions unless we first import them into our environment and make them available to our code. So uh, if we're using someone else's function, generally this reusable code is stored in a separate file from our file. So we don't have to like paste the code into our code every time. We can just call it up. Um, and this process is what's known as importing. Importing basically makes this code from a separate file available to our code. And some of the um, functions that are sort of automatically available as a part of a language are in what's known as the standard library. All we have to do is say that we want to import them and that's all. we don't have to do anything else. But there are also a lot of functions, particularly um, very uh, specific functions that, that have a, a very a specific purpose aren't included in the standard library and they have to be downloaded as in what we call a package. And then once you've downloaded the package from the internet, then that package has to be installed. When it's installed, it's basically put into some place in the computer where your um, interpreter is able to find it uh, and use it when you import it in the future. So uh, a lot of different platforms, both command line interfaces and graphical user interfaces, have a package manager to help you uh, do this process so that you don't have to do it manually. It's very hard once you have a lot of packages to keep track of all of them. In uh, Python, there's actually a slightly more complicated structure. Uh, you can take a number of related functions and group them together in a module, but you can actually have several related modules grouped together in a package. So functions are grouped into modules, modules are grouped into package, and this uh, is essentially a hierarchy of how we organize our functions. So let's take a look at an example uh, of two packages that are a part of the standard library of Python, and we can see how this works, the math module and the date time package. So here I am going to do a pretty simple mathematical operation. What I want to do is to basically calculate the square root of 2 and then print it on the screen. But if I try to run this code, you'll see that I get an error. It says the name square root is not defined. And the reason that's not defined is because it is not one of the functions that's automatically available, although it is part of the standard library. But I have to um, specifically say that I want to use a square root function from the math library. Now if I run this code, I'm still going to have a problem because it doesn't know what the math library is. So I need to add an additional line of code up here saying that I want to import the math library. And once I do that, again, I only need to do this once. With, this is sort of the equivalent of defining the function. Once I've imported the math module, then I can use it over and over again. So if I run the code now, it'll give me the square root of 2. And as I said, sometimes modules are not uh, available separately, but rather they are available as part of a, a larger package. And so there is a package called date time, which uh, somewhat confusingly has within it a module named date time. And then within that date time module, there's a function called UTC now. And that basically produces the current time in Greenwich Mean Time or Universal Time. Uh, notice that the function, the UTC now function, does not have any arguments. You don't need to put anything into it because it's going to look at the system clock and find out what the time is. So if I run that, it tells me what the current time is. Again, if I don't have the uh, import statement, 
Well, actually, what happens if I delete this? If I run it now, it still knows because the first time I ran the import statement, I loaded that module and package into the environment. And so now the Jupyter Notebook still knows about it because I already ran it once in this session. If I came in on another section and ran this code without the import statement, then it would say, I don't know what you're talking about. 